Hello, my name is Miles McNamara. I'm the developer of the WP Job Manager Field Editor plugin, as well as a couple others. Uh, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the different field output configuration options that you have. Now, by default, whenever you create a custom field, it is not going to be output on the listing itself until you configure it to do so. Reason being is the majority of templates and even themes um, you know, that customize their templates majority of the fields are hard-coded in those template files to output the fields. Um, that also makes it very difficult to be able to know, you know, I can't read minds. I don't have any idea where, you know, John Smith wants to output field X, yada, yada, yada. So what I did is I included a bunch of different options you have for outputting fields. And that's what I'm going to go over in this tutorial. So getting started, uh, there is a documentation page you can go to if you want to read some more about the available output options. And just so you can find that, the short link you can use is going to be https semicolon slash slash smyl dot es slash feoc. That stands for field output or field editor output configuration. And so that'll bring you to this page you can see right here where you can click on, you can go through here and read the rest of it, or you can click on widget, PHP, or short code to get more information about each one of those individual ones. Uh, and we're going to circle back to this when we come back for the short codes so we can go through the configuration options. Uh, but for now, we're going to start with the most popular and most frequently used output configuration, and that is the auto output. Whenever you create a custom field, as you'll notice in here, you can see all these are my custom fields right here. Whenever you create a custom field, if you go to, so let's just go ahead and open one up here, and I'll see it. You see here on the left hand side, we have this output tab. This is the automatic output configuration. And you'll notice we have a bunch of different configuration options here that you can choose from for how you want it to be auto output. So what you'll notice, let's go down, let's go to one I already have configured. So pretty sure I have this one configured. Yes. Okay, so you'll notice here, this one is selected for single listing top of hours widget. But you'll also notice in the drop down, you'll see we have a ton of different options. So you'll see right here, the first one grouping is single job page. That is the default hooks that are included with the default core WP job manager templates that you can use to output on the listing. The majority of all these should work with using other themes as long as your theme developer has not removed those hooks that were in the default templates. You'll also notice once we come down here that I have, so for in, the, in this example, I'm using the Listify theme. Because there is integration with the Listify theme, the Listable, and the Jobify theme, there are extra output locations that were added because those theme developers added extra hooks. And so we can now use those hooks to output whatever values you want. So you'll notice that we have, uh, just to go back, we have the Jobs List page as well. So you have the option to output on the single job page or the jobs list page. The auto output feature can only output in one location at a time. So if you configure auto output for say the job list page and you also want it to output on the single listing page, then you're gonna need to use a widget, a short code, or PHP, one of the other output options, which I'll go over in a minute, which is very easy to do. Um, but moving forward, you'll notice we have all these different, so even here for Listify, they have different hooks we can use. Um, these ones here. If you're going to be using the Listify theme widgets, if you're going to be using these, these auto output locations, you must set up your widgets in Listify. If you don't set up the widgets in Listify, it's using the default, widget, the default output, which is not going to get, it's not going to call any of these output locations. So make sure you go into the, your widgets, make sure you set those up if you want to use any of these ones here. I'm not going to go too, too much into those, um, so let's go ahead and just go through the different options we have. So starting off, we'll go ahead and say, let's leave this one here. We'll see the next option we have is output as. Output as, you have multiple different options of the way you want this to be output. So you'll notice here we have standard value output, link, image, embed, HTML5 video, value only. Now you notice the checkbook, the checkbox output options are disabled. That's because this is not a checkbox field type. Uh, I'll show you an example in a second of the checkbox field type. Actually, let's do that now. So we have here, you see I have a checkbox field here. And this is a pet friendly. Is your location pet friendly? 
Now in the output, you'll see I have selected here on the single listing actions for listify single listing. That's the, the output location I selected. Output as, you see, I selected custom true false labels. What that's going to do is that is going to output whatever I put in this value and then this value based on what is set. So if when the user submitted the listing, if they checked the box saying, yes, you know, this is, this is pet friendly, then on the listing, it's going to output pet friendly. If they didn't check it when they submitted it, it's going to say not pet friendly. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. Okay, so let's go back to our original one we were on there and kind of go through the, the rest of the options that we have. So in here, like I said, we have the standard value output, link, image, O-embed, HTML5, and value. The standard value output is only going to output the value itself. That is just going to be, that's going to be your most commonly used um, output ads that you're going to pick. Um, this one right here is going to also allow you to output wrapper HTML wrappers that surround the elements, stuff like that. Um, if you choose value only, it's only going to output the, the value. It's not going to output any HTML elements around it, anything of the sort. So the most common is the standard value output. You would use the link output for any kind of file upload fields. Um, if you're, you had the user input, you know, a link to their website, uh, anything that you would want that value that that field was saved with to be output in a link, you would use this. Um, as of the latest version, 1.6.2, I've also added the feature for adding schemes to the output. So if the, you have a telephone field, you can set it to output as a link, and it'll automatically, if it's a phone field type, it'll automatically append it with the uh, TEL colon so that when somebody clicks on it, it'll open it you know, in their on their telephone. Uh, same with an email. If it's an email address, it'll output a link with the mail to in the link. Um, I think you guys kind of understand how that works. And you'll notice, if I select here in the link, you'll notice I get extra options that show up in here. And you'll see, for this one, I have a link. So if I want a custom caption to use to output on this link, then I could. So if I wanted, you know, if somebody uploaded their resume and I wanted the output link to say download resume, I could put that in here and then it would show download resume instead of the file name. Um, next one we have is image. If the file is an upload that's an image and you want it to output that image on your actual page, you can select this. As of right now, it doesn't support doing any kind of thumbnails, anything like that. Uh, but in an upcoming release, I do plan on having a new output as option here, which is going to be output as uh, thumbnails or galleries. Um, but for now, that's, that's what it is that we have for now. The O-embed would be what you would use if the user is submitting a, so the value is a SoundCloud URL or a YouTube URL. So you have them submit a YouTube URL to their video resume or something. Um, you could use O-embed here. And what this will do is this will actually embed that video on your page so that they don't, you know, it's not just a link, it'll actually embed it on there. Um, and this supports any of the WordPress supported O-Embed providers. So, you know, check that out, look it up. And just uh, another quick thing, you can actually click on this question mark here and that'll open the documentation page for the field output configuration, just so you're aware as well. The HTML5 video, that is if you have a file upload field type and the user is uploading a video to your site not like a link to a YouTube URL they're actually uploading a file that is a video to your site you can use the output as HTML5 video and that will do pretty much the same thing like an O-embed does except it'll actually um, embed that HTML5 video on your site and you'll notice we have a bunch of extra options here just look right below them and it'll give you a description of what the actual, what that setting is for. Um, so I'll go ahead and set this back to what we had before and I'll go over some of these basic options that we do have for all the output configurations. So the next spot you'll see we have priority. Priority is going to be the, if you set multiple fields to output into the same location. So if I have, you know, field X and I set it to the output at single listing top of hours widget. And then I also have field B, and I set it to output here. Setting the priority enables you to be able to set which field you want to output first. So if I wanted this one to be output first, I could set this priority to one, 
and I wanted you know field B to output last, I could set that priority to two. The lower the number, the higher the output is going to be, or the sooner it's going to be output. Next setting is wrap output. Wrap output allows you to wrap the element uh, or the the actual, if you're including the label, wrap everything in an HTML element. Um, you'll see here if you leave it empty, it'll wrap it in a div element. Um, you can use different ones here, just make sure you only put in you know, div, ul, whatever you want to use. The next one is wrap value. This will wrap the value in an HTML element as well. And you'll see you can set what that is. Um, and then we also have show label, and that'll actually show the label on the listing itself. So let's go ahead and let's see what I'll show you, just go ahead and show you an example so you can kind of see what it looks like. So output right now. So right now you'll notice I have wrap output and show label, but I don't have wrap value set. So let's go to my example listing we have here. Let's go ahead and reload this. So it's at the top of the hours widget. So you'll see here job shift early AM. There it is right there. It's the top of the hours widget. Now let's configure this. Let's change one of these settings. So let's remove the wrap output. Let's save that. And let's see how that's going to change it. Now it doesn't change it. Now sometimes depending on what the configuration is in your actual theme or the settings in your theme for CSS, it would actually wrap it down to the next side. Um, just kind of play around with those if, if you're having problems getting it to look the way you want. Um, the main reason that that's in there is so that you can set how you want the actual wrapper to, to be handled. So um, let's try this and I'm pretty sure this will change it for us. We go here, refresh it. See now you notice it showed on another line instead of showing right next to it. And that's because this early AM is now wrapped in another HTML element. That's the reason it shows on the next line. That's what I was trying to show you guys. Um, so you'll notice that to disable that so it shows on the same line, I'll come back here, I'll put and I don't want to wrap the value. And then you can see, you can set the wrap, wrapper type for the label as well here. Uh, it's totally up to you. So that is the auto output configuration, and that's how that works. The next field output type that you have that I'm going to go over is the short using short codes. This is by far the most popular method to output short codes, and it is one that I do recommend just due to the all, all the different configuration options that you do have available for it. Uh, in this specific example, I'm going to go over doing and using the short codes in a WP editor or a uh, what you see is what you get editor uh, widget. So first, first thing you need to do, go to your plugins, go to add new, and you can either use the WP editor widget or you can use the tiny MC, the Black Studio one. I'm going to go ahead and you can see this one right here. I've already got this installed. They both do the same thing. Totally up to you. But for this example, I'm going to use the Black Studio Tiny MCE one right here. You'll see I've already got it activated on here, so go ahead and install that. You can tell obviously with 800,000 plus installs, you know it's got a good rating, so it's it's used very frequently. And the reason being is now when we go over to our widgets to go configure our widgets, I've already got one set up as an example here to show you guys. And you'll see it'll actually show up down here under Visual Editor, and you can just click on there and add it there. And you'll notice now when we go over here to Visual Editor, you'll see we have the WP Editor right here in a widget. Best thing about this is you can now start entering in short codes. You can start typing these in and configure it, the output and the look of it, whatever you want it to look like. You can also use this so that now whenever you have your listing and you come here, you can have as many fields in one widget as you would like. Whereas with the other option you have, which would be the integrated widget, which would be under custom field, which is this one right here, and you can add it in here. Right now, the only thing you can do with this one is to output a single field, and that will only output that field into a single widget. So that's why I recommend using short codes. It's much easier. You have many more configuration options, and you can style it to whatever you want it to look like. So to be able to see what different arguments and configurations you have available for short codes, you're going to want to go over to my website, go ahead and check out the documentation, and You'll want to, you can go to the, the documentation and search for it, um, or you can click the link that's down here on this video. I'm sorry, not on the video, but you can go to this, this, this link and it'll bring you to this. And so this one's actually PHP. That's not the correct one. Uh, 
But in here you'll see we have all these different arguments that you can use to specify configuration values for the shortcodes. This will allow you to customize it in many, many different ways. And I'll go ahead and show you here in this example how we're doing this. So I decided that I wanted to output the job shifts, the listing pet friendly, and the job certifications. I wanted to output those three fields in their own widget. So the first one I wanted to output, the job shifts, I only wanted to, I just wanted it to output the label. So I set that argument, as you can see, you know, the short codes, output show label, set to one or true, and that'll output it. So you go back here, there it is. You'll see the next one I output is listing pet friendly. Now this field type is a checkbox. So what I did was I decided to use the output as the check custom field type. Reason being is because I can use that then I can set the output check true and the output check false values to output either one of these based on whether or not the user selected that checkbox when they submitted the listing. So see, we come here and we see this, we can see pet friendly, sorry, not friendly. That's one of the options you have for configuration. There's tons of different ones. So just make sure you go over all the sh different short code options here. And it does have a description of each one, how it works. The, the majority of them do require you to set the output as, otherwise it's just gonna output as a the standard value and it's not gonna actually, so if you wanted to output a link or an image or whatever it is. Now, as of version 1.6.2 and newer, there is a new feature that's added for link outputs where it will actually prepend, if it's an email address or a field type as a phone, It'll ask you to append it with, you know, TEL colon or mail to colon in the link if you set it as a link. So you'll see here with these examples again that I have, we have that, and then we have our job certifications. You can see here, output as link, output show labels true. Now you can notice I put a one here as well as a true. Both of them work. Zero or false equals, you know, do not, or one or true is obviously equates to true. So you can use either or, they both work just, just the same. Um, again, this is the most popular and that's why I totally recommend using this because you can completely customize this however you want. So, customize me. And it gives you way greater details to fine tune exactly the way you want it to look and get it to output. See, and it all shows up in one widget. The next one I'm going to go over real quick, which do doesn't really get much, um, isn't going to take much time to go over, is going to be using PHP. And you can find the links on the actual the field output configuration link. And you'll notice when you come down here, we've got a bunch of different functions that you can call from PHP. You'll notice they use the same kind of syntax as the core of WordPress. Whereas you can use get job field to return the value to you, or you can use the job field to echo out the value. That's why you'll notice here in these examples, this right here is exactly the same as this right here. Okay. Um, that's about all there is for this tutorial. I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.